Magandang maga po sa inyong lahat. Happy Easter po. Pakibati po natin ang ating mga tabi ng Happy Easter. Maligayang Pasko ng pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoon. Welcome to the Minor Basilica and Parish of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Simulan po natin ang ating pagdiriwang. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God. And the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth is to be our good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, 
Let us pray. O God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your Spirit rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The resurrection of Jesus is the heart of the earliest Christian kerygma, that is, the public announcement of God's salvation through Jesus' victory over death. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be Christ's resurrection challenges the Christian to die to corrupt and wicked ways and to rise as a new person, sincere and faithful. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, do you not know that a little yeast leavens all the dough? Clear out the old yeast so that you may become a fresh batch of dough. Inasmuch as you are unleavened, 
For our Paschal Lamb, Christ has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast, not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Christians to the Paschal victim, offer your thankful praises. A lamb the sheep redeems. Christ, who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to the Father. Death and life have contented in that combat stupendous. The prince of life, who died, reigns immortal. Speak, Mary, declaring what you sow, wayfaring, the tomb of Christ, who is living, the glory of Jesus' resurrection, bright angels attesting the shroud and napkin resting. Yes, Christ may hope is a reason. To Galilee he goes before you. Christ indeed from death is risen. Our new life obtaining. Have mercy, Victor King, ever reigning. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, our Paschal Lamb, has been sacrificed. Let us then feast with joy in the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial clothes there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial clothes there and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial clothes, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed, for did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. My dear sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Pinagdiriwang po natin ngayong araw na ito ang muling pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoong Yesus. Ang muling pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoong Yesus Kristo ay nagsasabi po sa ating lahat ng pag-ibig ng Diyos ay higit na makapangyarihan kaysa sa ating mga pangamba sa buhay na ito. Higit na makapangyarihan kaysa sa ating mga takot. Higit na makapangyarihan kaysa sa ating mga kasalanan. Higit na makapangyarihan maging sa kamatayan. Si Jesus po ay muling nabuhay. Sa kabila ng pandemya na ating pinagdaraanan ngayon, meron pong dahilan upang tayo'y magalak. Hindi tayo iniwan ng Panginoong Iso Kristo. Buhay na buhay po siya. Maaari po ba natin siyang palakpakan? Si Jesus na muling nabuhay ay hindi po katulad ng isang multo. Hindi po isang apparition lamang yung nakita ng mga alagad. 
Hindi po siya isang walking dead, patay na lumalakad, hindi po siya isang zombie. Ang kanyang muling pagkabuhay ay hindi katulad ng pagkabuhay ni Lazarus na later on ay muli rin namang namatay. Si Jesus po ay totoong buhay na buhay. Yan po ang pananampalataya no? na binigay sa atin ng mga alagad. Nakita nila si Maria Magdalena ang sabi niya, I have seen the Lord. Nakita ko ang Panginoon. At ito ay isang mahalagang pundasyon ng ating pananampalataya. Nakita ko ang Panginoon. Yung Panginoon na kailang nakita ay tinatawag nating glorified body. Nanduroon pa rin ang bakas ng mga sugat noong Biyernes Santo. Nanduro ng sugat sa kanyang mga kamay at paa. Nanduro ng sugat sa kanyang tagiliran. Nanduro ng sugat sa kanyang buong katawan. Marahil ay upang ipaalaala sa atin ang paghihirap na kanyang pinagdaanan noong Biyernes Santo upang ipakita po sa atin ang kanyang mga sakripisyo. Sinasabi sa atin na walang Pasko ng pagkabuhay kung walang Biyernes Santo. Ang kanyang paghihirap, ang kanyang krus ay prinsipyo upang sa ganoon ay maranasan natin ang tagumpay. Sa kanyang pagsasakripisyo, abay tayo pong lahat ay nagkakamit ng laksa-laksang biyaya. Sinasabi sa atin na ang bawat pagsasakripisyo sa buhay ay hindi po nasasayang. Naalaala ko ang ating mga kapatid, mga kababayan na labis na nagsasakripisyo sa panahon na ito ng pandemya. Naalaala ko po ang mga frontliners, ang mga doktor, ang mga nurses, ang mga kapulisan, ang mga manggagawa na pilit na itinatawid ang kanilang pamilya. Alahanin po natin, hindi po nasasayang ang inyong mga sakripisyo. Katulad ng sa ating Panginoong Kristo, ang Diyos Ama ay naglalaan ng biyaya, ng gantimpala, ng kaligayahan para sa ating lahat. Ito isang proseso na ating pinagdadaanan. Maaring nakakatakot ang magsakrapisyo, lalo na kung mauwi sa kamatayan. Nangangamba tayo kapag ka ang pinag-usapan na yung sarili nating kamatayan. Yung pag-usapan na ibang tao ay namamatay, parang hindi nakakatakot. Pero kapag ka sinabi sa atin, yung sarili mong kamatayan ng ating pag-usapan, yung sarili mong sakripisyo, abay nagdudulot po talaga sa atin ng pangamba. Tayo nangangamba tungkol sa kamatayan sapagkat hindi po natin alam kung kailan ito darating sa buhay natin. Tayo nangangamba sapagkat kailan ba ito? Bukas na ba sa isang linggo, sa isang buwan, sa isang taon? Makakasurvive ba ako sa pandemya na ito? Hindi natin alam. Nagdudulot sa atin ng takot. Tayo nangangamba sapagkat di rin po natin alam kung papaano tayo mamamatay. Mamamatay ba tayo sa katandaan? Mamamatay ba tayo sa sakit? Mamamatay ba tayo sa disgrasya? Paano tayo mamamatay? Walang nakakabatid sa atin dito ngayon. Tayo rin ay natatakot nangangamba sapagkat pwede nating isipin na kung tayo mamamatay, paano na lamang yung mga mahal ko sa buhay? Paano na lamang yung mga magulang na may anak? Paano na lamang yung mga taong maraming umaasa sa kanila? Ano mangyayari sa kalang buhay kung ako ay mamamatay? Ito'y nagdudulot sa atin ng maraming pangamba, ng anxiety, ng pag-iisip na ano na, may kahalugan pa ba ang buhay? Subalit dahil ang ating Panginoong Yesus namatay, pero hindi na natili sa libingan, hindi tinuldukan ng kamatayan ng kanyang buhay, siya'y bumangon sa araw na ito. At dahil dito, tayo mga Kristiyano, tinitingnan ang kamatayan sa ibang pamamaraan. Tayo mga Kristiyano, alam po natin na kahit na may kamatayan, ang lahat ay merong kahulugan. Ang kamatayan 
ay pinagtagumpayan ng ating Panginoong Yesus at katulad ng kwento ng buhay ng ating Panginoong Yesus Kristo, ganun din po ang nais nating maging kwento ng buhay natin. Tayong sumasampalataya sa Kanya, tayong kumakapit sa Kanya, maaari nga tayong mamatay, pero alam natin, katulad ni Yesus na muling nabuhay, ang kwento ng buhay natin hindi lang mauwi sa sementeryo. Ang kwento ng buhay natin ay makakasama sa muling pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoong Yesus. Tinitingnan natin na ang kamatayan ay pintuan ng bagong buhay. Pinapaalaala sa atin na sa kabila ng kadiliman, sa dako pa roon ay may naghihintay na liwanag. Pinapaalaala sa atin na sa kabila ng ating kasalanan ay merong pong kapatawaran, merong habag, merong awa ang Panginoong Diyos. Paano natin nararanasan sa makabagong panahon ang awa ng Panginoong Diyos? Ang kanyang presensya, totoo bang nandirito siya? Nararanasan po natin sa pamagitan ng kanyang mga sakramento. Nung tayo binyagan, nanduroon si Jesus. Nung tayo kumpilan, kasama natin siya. Nung tayo mag-first communion at sa tuwing tatanggapin po natin siya dito sa misa, ang tawag natin ay the real presence of God. No? Si Jesus ay talagang ating tinatanggap. Nandirito siya. Nung kay kasalin, nanduroon ang ating Panginoong Isokristo. Do sa mga taong may sakit, kapag kahinahatiran ng kumunyon, kapag kapinapahiran ng langis, si Jesus yun, nanduro umpo siya. Doon sa mga mamamatay, namatay, si Jesus ang kasama natin at kasama nila sa kanilang paglalakbay. Si Jesus ay nandirito. Tuwing ipinapahayag po ang mabuting balita, ang salita ng Diyos, kung papansinin po ninyo, sa bandang huli ang sabi ng reader, The Word of the Lord, ang salita ng Panginoon. Hindi salita ng pari, hindi salita ng ubispo, hindi salita ng isang presidente, kung hindi the Word of the Lord, salita ng Diyos. At ang salita ng Diyos ay makapangyarihan. Pwedeng baguhin ang ating kalooban, pwedeng baguhin ang ating isipan. Ang salita ng Diyos ay tunay na pagkain. Si Pedro, minsan sinabi niya, Panginoon, saan pa ako tutungo? Saan pa ako pupunta? You have the words of everlasting life. Nasa sa iyo ang salitang nagbibigay ng buhay. Nandirito rin po ang ating Panginoong Yesus ngayon sa gitna natin. Sapagkat siya nangako kung saan, merong tatlo o gitang tao na nagkakatipon sa kanyang pangalan, nanduro na ako sa gitna nila. Sa tuwing sinasabi natin, in the name of Jesus, sa pangalan ng Panginoong Diyos tayo nagkakatipon, nandirito po siya, siya'y present. Sa tuwing makakita tayo ng mga taong naglilingkod, nanduroon ang Panginoong Diyos. Nanduroon siya sa mga lectors and commentators, sa Eucharistic ministers, sa mga apostoles, nanduroon siya sa mga ushers, nanduroon siya sa mga doktor na gumagamot, nanduroon siya sa ating kapwa, mga frontliners, Nanduro ng ating Panginoong Yesus. Nanduro din siya sa mga taong ating pinaglilingkuran, lalo na sa mga may hirap. Sapagkat ang sabi ng Panginoon, kung anong gawin mo sa maliliit na ito, sa akin mo ginawa. Sa tuwing tayo dadalo sa may sakit, nanduro ng Panginoon. Kay magbibigay ng damit sa mga walang damit, magpapakain, magpapainom sa mga nagugutom, sa Yesus yun. Sa tuwing tayo ay pupuntado sa mga taong nawawala ng pag-asa sa buhay at magbibigay ng konting inspirasyon, si Jesus nanduroon kapiling natin. So makikita po natin na ang muling pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoong Isokristo ay nararanasan natin sa ating makabagong panahon. Kung hindi siya muling nabuhay, Walang bisa ang ating pagtitipon ngayon. 
Ang katotohanan na maaga kayong gumising at tayo nagkakatipon-tipon ngayong umaga ay sapagkat buhay ang ating Panginoong Yesus. Kung hindi siya nabuhay, wala po sana tayo ngayon dito. Walang maniniwala sa Kanya. Bakit kita po natin na hinahamon tayo sa ating makabagong panahon na patuloy na ipadama ang presensya, ang buhay na presensya ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo sa ating kapwa sa pamagitan po ng inyong pagsasakripisyo. Tuwing kayo'y magkakawang gawa, tuwing kayo'y magmamalasakit sa kapwa, hindi po ba nasasabi ng ating kapwa ay salamat sa Diyos. Ang mukhang nakikita ay hindi yung mukha ninyo. Kapag katay nagbibigay, ang sasabihin ng binibigyan mo, salamat sa Diyos. Mukha ng Diyos ang kanyang nakikita sa pamagitan ng mukha mo. Patuloy po tayong inaanyayahan na nawa ang presensya ng ating Panginoong Diyos ngayon ay madama natin lahat kung kayo'y magmamalasakit. Ating pong sinasabi na totoo nga ang Panginoong Diyos ay buhay na buhay. Pag po tayong mawawalan ng pag-asa sa buhay na ito, maaaring tayo dumadaan sa dilim ng buhay pero dahil kasakasama natin ang ating Panginoong Isok Kristo, alam po natin, makakatawid tayong lahat sa ating pinagdaraanan. Ang Diyos ay totoong buhay. Kapiling po natin, nandirian po siya sa ating mga puso. Muli po, palakpakan natin ang ating Panginoong Yesus. We shall have the renewal of baptismal promises. Please stand. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with Him in newness of life. And so, now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, you shall answer, I do. I do. Do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty show? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father, of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by His grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. Christ is the Lord of life, raised up by the Father. In turn, He will raise us up by His power. Let us address our petition to the Heavenly Father as we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. May the Church proclaim with all courage Christ's victory to a world living in sin, agony, and fear. We pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. May the Church and government leaders die to their personal interests so that they may serve the people with faith, hope, and love, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. May all baptized believers die to their sins and live up to their dignity as children of God, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. May victims of violence, famine, and natural and man-made calamities Receive new hope and life 
in Christ through the care of the community. We pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. May our departed brothers and sisters see the eternal light that the risen Lord gained for us. We pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Father, your Son conquered the power of death. Let our celebration today raise us up and renew our lives through Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Exultant with Paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world by dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts of pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, in all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her husband, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words the Lord Jesus Christ taught us.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracefully grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, to said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, our life and our Savior. He has risen from the dead, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to His supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O Lord, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall have the Oratia Imperata for the Archdiocese of Linga and the Gupan. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians, for the increase of priestly vocation in the church in Linga and the Gupan. Let us answer together. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations to priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary. Walk with our seminarians in their journey of priestly formation. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were, the, you were with the apostles in prayer on Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on our young men, seeking their vocation in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your Son entrusted to you, the beloved disciple, at the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to answer the call to be priests. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations of the priesthood. Mary, Let us pray. Mary, help of Christians, we place all our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with your help your priests, sons, as they follow your son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. The summer feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on April 21, 2021, third Wednesday of Easter. Novena Masses will begin on April 12, until April 20, 2021. The schedule of Masses will be at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. and will be streamed live through the social media platforms of the Minor Basilica and via Manawag Dominican Radio 102.7 FM. We cordially invite you to participate in the Feast and the Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses during this Feast and Novena, you may approach our Basilica personnel in the religious stores and Mass intention counters or visit our website, manawagbasilica.org or FB page, facebook.com, Minor Basilica Manawag Official. Thank you. Please stand. Bago ko po ibigay ang aking huling pagbabasbas, ay nais ko pong magpasalamat sa inyong lahat na mga nakiisa at tumulong sa pagdiriwang ng ating uh, iba't ibang aktibidades nung panahon ng Kwaresma, mahal na araw, at hanggang ngayon po sa panahon ng Pasko ng Pagkabuhay sa ating Paris Pastoral Council, BEC leaders, sa iba't ibang uh, ministry, no? uh, servers dito sa ating uh, parokya ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Maraming maraming pong salamat. Maraming salamat din po sa ating uh, local government units, sa mga kapulisan. Maraming maraming pong salamat sa pagbibigay ng kaayusan sa ating mga sinasagawang activities dito sa parokya ng Manawag. At sa inyo pong lahat na patuloy na sumusuporta 
at sumusubaybay no, sa ating uh, liturgical celebrations dito po at sa inyong mga bahay. Maraming maraming pong salamat sa inyong patuloy na pagsuport at pagsubaybay. Maraming pong salamat sa inyong uh, pagbisita sa Minor Basilica para Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at sa inyong pong pakikisa sa ating banal na misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass ascended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Shall have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us the strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will greatly bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>